Some people struggle with their transition because of feelings of guilt. This guilt tends to stem from observing loved ones go through the stages of grief. I noticed that clients who have been raised in a household following a conservative religion struggle with guilt more intensely. If you are struggling with guilt, I have a few things I would like for you to consider. First, I want you to consider whether or not your actions are malicious and intended to cause your loved ones to struggle. It is likely that this is not the case. In fact, it is likely that you would prefer not to be transgender because life could be so much easier. You would not need to be on hormones for the rest of your life, nor would you need to come out to anyone. Please ask yourself, if you were given the choice to be cisgendered and comfortable with your body and gender, or transgender and incongruent with your body and gender, which would you choose? It is likely that you would not choose something for yourself, such as being transgender. Rather, it is something that you have struggled with, and it has caused you so much pain that you needed to do something about it. My point is, is that being transgender is not something you would choose, just as you would not choose to bring grief upon your loved ones. Please do not beat yourself up over something which is beyond your control. Knowing how bad you feel about your body and your gender as it is, if a loved one felt this way, would you ask them to remain as they are? Or would you suggest that they do what they needed to in order to live authentically and be happy? The problem is that the struggle you have is not something that your loved ones tend to understand because they are not the ones who are experiencing it. Your transition is taking place out of necessity. You cannot live in this kind of pain or you would never expect them to do this either. So please give yourself a break over this because you're really just doing it out of necessity. As you watched your loved ones struggle, I want to remind you of something. It is likely that your loved ones are resilient. It is likely that they will recover. This is not the first challenge they faced. For example, if you are watching your parents struggle, you need to remember that they have struggled with a variety of changes over the course of your life. They struggled on your first day of school and when you learned to ride a bike. I understand that this struggle might be on a smaller scale, but my point is nevertheless valid. Just keep in mind that they can recover with time and perhaps some space to process their feelings and adjust. What that may look like, doing okay, no one can predict but you need to give them some credit and not carry this burden on yourself entirely. That's just not fair. If there is something to feel guilty about and have some legitimacy, that would involve how you treat other people. Behaving in a disrespectful manner to others or just being downright mean, that is a reason to feel guilty. Neither transitioning nor being transgender justifies behaving like a jerk. I say this with a caveat in mind that there are people who in your life who may watch this video and claim that you are mistreating them even though you may not me. And this is done in a, an, an attempt to manipulate you. So please watch out for this manipulation. Now, others though, they might actually be behaving like a jerk which is a legitimate reason to feel guilty. Some of those who struggle with guilt will have a phase of trying to overcome it. If this is you, I suggest that you bookmark this video and watch it whenever the guilt arises for you. Otherwise, I hope this video helped some of your guilt uh, be clarified and understand what is legitimate and what is just kind of passing phase, which requires more positive self-talk. If you found this video helpful, then please remember to like, share, subscribe, and if you can afford to do so, make a donation to my student loans, which exceed $100,000. Thank you.